Hey guys, Alex here. I am taking a little trip to the Gulf of Mexico side of Florida. It's a place called Tarpon Springs. It's got the distinction of being uh, the city in the United States with the most Greek Americans percentage wise. And um, yeah, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna check out some sites. I'm gonna show you some of the, uh, the Greco American uh, places to visit, including the, the sponge docks and also this uh, East Orthodox. Greek East Orthodox uh, Cathedral, and yeah, we're gonna have a good time. of the Prince of Macedon. Sorry guys, I took a little pit stop to this little rest area um, on the way to Tarpon Springs. Uh, I drank a lot of water this morning. Anyways, there's this uh, really famous vending machine that sells coffee and tea. This guy's getting something. What do you think he got? Coffee or tea? It's, it's interesting guys, very interesting. Are you recording me? So, um, I'm gonna get back to my car really fast. Um, there's a lot of traffic building up right now, it's 9 o'clock. Hey guys, I made it to Tarpon Springs. Right behind me is the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral, held as one of the most beautiful cathedrals in the world. And this was uh, chartered in 1908, but reconstruction began in the 1940s. And it's designed to look like the Hagia Sophia in Constantinople, now Istanbul, and uh, the architecture represents the uh, Neo-Byzantine Revival, which uh, resembles 5th to 11th century uh, Byzantine architecture, and this cathedral is home to the largest Epiphany celebration in the United States, which takes place in January 6th. Alright guys, I'm going to go inside the church and I'm going to show you some of the, uh, the artwork inside and architecture. Check it out guys, in memory of the unknown soldiers 
who fought for the freedom of the beloved country Greece. My friends, we're about to turn onto the uh, Dodecanese Avenue or Boulevard, and this turn is named left, after the, the Greek Boulevard. islands where most of the uh, the Greek immigrants came when they when they when they uh, immigrated here. And this is where they have the sponge docks and all the the restaurants and whatnot. And we're gonna go here. Oh, there's a there's a, there's a harbor. Feet. Your destination will be on the left. Yeah, let's, let's get a pen of this. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna try this restaurant here. It's called Mykonos. It's gonna be right over there. I can kind of see it. We'll park all day for two dollars. Yeah, there it is. Mykonos. I'm gonna park here, I guess, for three dollars. Your destination is on the left. Why don't change? All right, guys, I'm on the Dodecanese Boulevard, and this is the Sponge Dogs. All kinds of uh, Greek activity. We got the uh, Gift World, which is a Greek imports with Greek music. We got Johnny's Greek cuisine. Across the street, you got some boats. And look over there, they're selling some sponge. Yeah, the uh, story behind this area is um, it was f first uh, founded as a uh, sponge business area. It's called the Sponge Docks. You know, a lot of the Greeks that came here, they came from the Dodecanese um, Islands, and they're all like sponge divers. But uh, there was a big uh, red algae outbreak, which uh, destroyed a lot of the uh, the sponge um, like harvesting here. So a lot of the uh, Greeks who came here, they had to switch to fishing and um, and shrimping. So, um, got more boats over there. This is the Greek flag. Anyways, we are going over here to Mykonos. I read many good things about this place. Good stuff for, for Greek cuisine. Here's the guy handling the uh, the money for parking. Yes, yes. Here it is, guys. Mykonos. We're gonna check this place out. Yeah, free parking here, which I didn't know about. And it's really busy. Owned by Andreas Salavaras. Let's check out this awesome place. This is inside Mykonos. Uh, really busy right now. And uh, check this out. Check out the counter over here. All in uh, Greek. There's so much stuff to order on this menu, but I've decided on the Athenian chicken breast. It's a charbroiled, boneless, and skinless chicken breast with uh, Greek seasonings. Sounds like a very safe bet. So for my appetizer, I got the soup. It's uh, chicken with lemon. Let's try it. It's really good. Very uh, zesty uh, flavor to it. I can't wait for the entree though, the Athenian chicken breast. So this is the Athenian chicken breast. So the chicken came in a skillet and the rice came separately. We've got a, little, a bit of uh, rice and tomatoes. We've got one bite of this. Let's see. It's really tender, really soft. I can, I can kind of close my fork. But I'm going to use my knife and I'm civilized. Let's try this bad boy. Give it chicken. Rice. It's really good. The uh, chicken has its own special Greek seasoning, and the rice has a very um, zesty and tangy feel to it. So it's like very, um, very, very tasteful. I gotta say, very. I'll give a uh, ten stars to this uh, restaurant, Nikonos. So yeah, uh, the sponge dock, they sell lots of sponges here. It's a specialty. Is this SpongeBob Binoculus? <laughs> so a lot of these boats here, they harvest sponge. See this boat? Sponge everywhere. And let me show you all these other boats here. And also across the street, they have a lot of uh, more Greek, Greek places to eat at. And the place we just ate at was over there, Mykonos, that white building down there. Got some more Greek restaurants. We got some shopping over here. Greek statues. I, I'm going in, guys. I'm going to get something. 
All right, back there, that is the little tour boat. Like, they'll take you on a little tour on this uh, body of water. I'm not sure that's the one that takes you to see the uh, sponge divers. Um, if it is, it's pretty cheap, you'll check it out. Um, I was gonna go on it, but yeah. More Greek stuff here? Look at this guy, Greek goodies from Hellas. The bakery guys. It looks pretty good. Don't have time to try it though. Oh, I know where I want to go. I order myself a Euro, guys, from the world's best Euro maker. Hi. Hi, over here. Hi. Over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm doing this. I, know, I just want to order some food to go. Okay. Can I get a uh, Euro with uh, no onions on it? Okay, with fries or? Uh, sure. Actually, no fries. And, um, a little bit the same thing, but with onions. So I got a euro without onions, I don't like onions, but this place had the distinction of making their own euros by hand. Whereas most other euro restaurants, they import their euros from like Chicago or something. So that's what I got. It's humongous. Let's try to figure it out. Oh, not lots of excellent tzatziki sauce. I can just see it. Uh-oh. Huh. Tomato's good. Hold on. Moment of truth, guys. Oh. It's awesome, guys. The tzatziki sauce is, is beautiful. And the meats, it tastes really fresh. And the bread is nice and crisp. Mm. I agree, it's perfect, guys. Come to Plakas. So, we have this. The statue of Alexander the Great. His name is in Greek, Alexandros. But look at this, guys. Cheaper, more affordable. It's Alexander! This is the, the movie version from Oliver Stone's Alexander right here. He's got the lion helmet. Oh, one more thing. They're selling Alexander the Great's helmet up there. Also the lion helmet, without the plumes. But I think I have to go with this bad boy. So this is a Craig Park. And this is where they hold the Epiphany Celebration. Um, what happens is they throw the Epiphany Cross into the water and a bunch of uh, Greek Orthodox like young males will jump into the water and retrieve it. And another cool thing about this park is it's also known as uh, Manatee Park, I believe, because in wintertime, um, manatees will actually come up in this water. I think it come over here. Um, I don't really see anything. But yeah, in wintertime, that's where they, this is where they come. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go back to uh, Orange County, that's where I live. And before I go, I wanna check out over here, there might be a manatee swimming out there. As I said, this is known for the manatees. When it's winter time, they come here to, uh, to manifest themselves. Yes. There is a manatee out there, but he's underwater. If you wait long enough, you can see something. Oh, right there, right there, you see it? You see it? It was right over here. Hello.